it was one of those years where it was essentially impossible to know going in what it would be like. Everything got derailed, you know, because of COVID. Then we were hoping things would slowly get back to normal. Um, and they did in certain aspects. Then our numbers just went through the roof. I remember one day I was opening the clinic door and I was looking down the driveway and there were three people walking up the driveway with a bird. I could see three people with boxes and animals wrapped in towels walking up the driveway. And I, uh, I felt just like, this can't be true, that's just too much. I can't deal with such a number of birds coming. And it was hard to not panic. We'd seen a gradual increase starting in March. Um, we got baby barn owls two weeks earlier than we'd gotten them before. So with it being a gradual increase, it was just kind of, we had just accepted it by that point. Uh, we got 152 patients in June alone. Um, and so at that point we were just, this is just how things are now and we're gonna take it as it comes. There isn't any one thing that stands out. It's all kind of blended together because it's been so busy. With 30 birds, our clinic is well occupied. So a having 83 in care is, is very challenging. For us, we had to take back and say, no, no, don't, we don't go faster because there's more. We go, we make sure that we, we take the time for every bird that it needs and keep organization, make it a prior priority that our place stays well organized, that we don't get frazzled. I think the supporting each other is, is the big thing. You know, the dedication of this incredible staff and our volunteers um, and their continued commitment to the birds. I mean, the community sees us as a resource, which is exactly what we wanna, want to be. Um, and I guess thank you is the biggest thing for me to say.